Hello class. Today we will be making a harvest pumpkin. A harvest pumpkin is just made of ovals. An oval is a round shape like a circle but it's tall. We will make many harvest pumpkins all over the page. Just like this. You will have to keep going. You will get many dojo points. I'm giving dojo points to all the artists that can keep going and draw many pumpkins. This is a harvest pumpkin. It, it's a t pumpkins are types of gourds. They grow really strong and you have to chop them down when you want to harvest them and bring them in the house to play with them. Heart pumpkins can be used for food and pumpkins can be used for decoration. Today we're drawing many on the page. Let's start. Please take your pencil. If you don't have a pencil, use a pen. If you don't have a pen, you can use colored pencils. If you don't have colored pencils, you can use a marker. If you don't have markers, you can use a crayon. I'm going to start with pencil. I, I did this one in pen, but I messed up a little bit here. If you use pencil, you get to erase. Make sure you're sitting nice and tall in your chair. Make sure one hand is holding the paper still. And if you want, you can put the camera on your paper so that the art teacher, Miss French, that's me, so that I can see your work and give you dojo points if you're orderly. If you keep moving and keep going and keep drawing your pumpkins, you'll get dojo points. I drew four pumpkins. One, two, three, four of many different sizes. This one is small. This one is a little bit, but this one is extra small. This is small, this is medium, and this is large. Many different sizes. I drew pumpkins of many different sizes. Let's begin. One hand holds the paper still, and the other hand is drawing an oval in the middle of the paper. It looks like a circle because it's round but it's taller, like an egg shape. So it's called an oval. Now I'm gonna draw another oval behind this one. Touch the top of the oval, touch the top of the oval, touch the top of the oval, and draw down. End it right there. Don't go all the way down, stop here. Touch this side, the top of the oval, curve down and stop right there. Not all the way to the bottom, but stop right here. If you use pencil, you can erase a little bit. Don't erase too much because we're gonna draw many, so keep going and hurry up. Touch the top, curve around and end right there. Touch the top, curve around and end right there. Now it's time to draw our stem. Don't draw it here unless you want to. I draw mine here. Touch the second oval. See this one? This one that's on the top. Touch the oval that's next to it and draw a line up. Touch the oval that's next to it and draw a line up. Close it and draw this fingernail inside. Fingernail, yep. And then back here, draw a loop-de and a loop-de. Now it's time to make it look real. Let's add some lines here. This one we all drew together. We were doing it nice and fast. Add lines. 
add lines to this side please and add lines to this side please drawing many pumpkins keep on going start here this one will be smaller draw an oval touch the top curve down stop before the bottom touch the top curve down stop before the bottom one two three four five six seven is a good number to have but for this one i had nine one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, where is it? Here it is. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you want to make a really big one, you can have nine chunks on your pumpkin, nine segments. Keep going. Keep going. Where did you go? Touch the top, curve down, touch the top, curve down. I want to make this one bigger. Touch. Oh, draw your stem. Touch the top curve down touch the top curve down and loopy and loopy oh that one doesn't look as good now add your lines do, 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 do. line on this side to make it look real to make it look more 3D, line on this side to make it look real. It's a broken line, so it's just a little bit of line there and a little bit of line here on this side. Now it's time to draw another one. You can color these in too. Draw an oval. Touch the top. Curve down, touch the top, curve down, touch the top, curve down, touch the top, curve down. Draw your stem, draw your stem. Loop, loop the, loop the lines, lines. Now I'm gonna try one with pen. I want it to be not extra small and not medium, but regular small oval. Touch the top, curve down, 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 make your stem. Loopy, loopy lines to make it look real. Lines on this side, lines on this side. Everyone's drawing their pumpkins all by themselves. Don't let your mom or dad help you. You have to hold the paper still with one hand and keep going. Keep going. Yes, after you draw four, maybe that's enough. Maybe you wanna draw some more. You can take your colors and begin to color them in. Color in your pumpkins. I'm not gonna color in all of my pumpkins. I'm gonna leave these ones blank. I think I just wanna color in one. 
I like my pumpkins to be not colored in today. If you want, you can color your pumpkins in. The outside is very dark. Is this pale? This color is called pale vermilion. So I'm going to put the dark color on the outside. There are other videos that I posted on the Art Google Classroom page. So if you want, you can open another browser if you know how to do it. Go on the Google Art Classroom page. Look under today's lesson, Harvest Pumpkin. Not October Pumpkin, Harvest Pumpkin. And then you will see... videos on how to color your pumpkin in neat. Did you color in your pumpkins all the way? Coloring in your pumpkin orange may help people see it more realistically. And everyone will know that it's an orange pumpkin. Color in your pumpkin. Keep going. You're sitting tall. One hand holds the paper still, and dojo points for everyone that has their camera on their work. Make sure you can still see me coloring if you need to, but make sure you show your work too on the camera. Oh, I need brown for my stem, brown and orange. Mm -hmm. Supplies that we need for art are crayons and markers. If you have colored pencils, that's good. I'm taking out two browns and two greens. Two different values of green and two different values of brown so that I can make my stem. Make sure everything is neat, nothing rolling around. Have all of your colored pencils, pen, pencil, marker, everything is out of the way nice and neat because you want the grown-ups to know that when you do art, you do art neatly. I'm coloring dark brown a little bit and then light, a lighter value of brown. And then I think I'm gonna add some green. a little bit. Now I think I want to fix, use brown, a little bit of brown just around in these edges, in these cracks. Every little crack I'm going to put some dark brown to make it look shadowy. Make sure your pumpkin is colored all the way in. Don't leave any white paper showing unless you want there to be highlights. I'm not using any highlights from the paper, so I'm just going to make sure mine is colored all the way in. No paper showing. Color it all the way in, your pumpkin. And I think I want to make a horizon line to show that my pumpkins are on a nice surface. Don't draw on your pumpkin. There we go. Pumpkins on a table. When you're finished, put your name at the baseline. And if you want, you can write the word 
Harvest Pumpkins. H-A-R-V-E-S-T Pumpkins. P-U-M-P-K-I-N-S. If I went too fast, you can open the browser and ask Google how to spell pumpkins. If you want, you can color in all of your pumpkins. If you want, you can leave them blank. I made four. How many will you make? It's almost time for us to share our work. It's almost time for us to share our work. So if you're ready to share your work, raise your hand in class dojo now. You have to raise your hand, I mean in Zoom. You have to raise your hand in Zoom now if you want to share your work. Let me go first. Hi, my name is Miss French and I made some harvest pumpkins in many different sizes. This one is extra small, really small. This one is small. This one is medium and this one is large. Thank you. Dojo points if you use the vocabulary word size variation. I used size variation to show many different sizes. Thank you.